The NFL on EA Sports is in the great state of Tennessee at Nissan Stadium here in Nashville. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the Tennessee Titans. Mayana, go get my earbuds off the bed. My earbuds, Kate. It's on the bed. For my black case on the bed. You don't? Jazzy, can you go upstairs and get my airbus case off the bed? You might have to move the blanket around. Facing the prospect of a punt from their own end zone, they need some pressure. Let's see what they can do on third down. Back to throw now in his own end zone. Damn, you are fucking pass interference and ass nigga. superiority there on the opening drive. Yeah, they came in the heavy favorite in this game, and even though they're on the road, they just still got just wiped it away, didn't they? They just said to everyone, we're the better team. We just showed it to you on this opening drive, and we expect to do it all game long. Elliott good on the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Turn this one so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback.
Levis, he's going to audible to something else. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Well, that's absolutely going to fire this defense up. They made it their mission to deny that completion, and they came through with a nice hit and knocked it incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. In motion left goes Burks. Back to the air on second down, Levis. Oh, damn it, Bradbury, you done did it twice. Smack that down. A 
Big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Henry. Is in. Touchdown. Jazzy, come grab this chicken from your grandma real quick. Really Touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Oh, 
And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. At their own 25 yard line. Now problems right out of the gate. We're going to get a delay. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now. First and 15 following the delay of game. In motion left goes Burks. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. Going deep for Hopkins. Oh, he rifles one and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Isaiah Rogers. And the Eagles are going to take possession here at their own 33. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. So for this offense, Charles, remember drive one made it to the end zone. Drive two resulted in a touchdown as well. Now they'll try to make it three for three. Yeah, and you know, they told us all week that this was the plan and this is what they wanted to execute, but did they really believe it would happen this well, this efficiently? I know they'll take it, and afterwards they'll say, there is never a doubt in our minds we were going to be successful in this one. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. The right, delay right, of right, game right. backs him up five, first and 15. A handoff, Swift running to the left. And only able to get two here, stopped at the 30. Give him a couple on the run there, it'll be second and 13. A gain of two, brings up second and 13. Through one corner, 14-7, our score. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Eagles in possession as they've got it with a second and 13 forthcoming. Once again, it's Swift. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop it behind the line. This is fourth and 14. Yeah. 
They're going to try and throw. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. What a real head scratcher there. And the Titans, they've got the football back, and they've got it in great field position. down carry for Henry and he'll power ahead but only for about three yards second down coming up well they held him to a short gain on that one and it almost felt like on that first run they were trying to just throw the jab at him so how do you stop the jab get closer and smother it just as they did on that last play Henry again on second down. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. The tally there, minus two yards, brings up third down. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Let's go now. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Hand off to Spears, and he is going to lose yardage here. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Martin, you mind if I take off this headset and put on a coaching headset? You want to get this running game going? I want to get this running game going. I'm going down there and saying, gentlemen, we have got to run the football. We've got to get it going right now. Yeah, to this point in the second quarter, it has been a struggle. And this one is no good. He missed it. And this will stay at a seven-point game. Well, this winds up an empty possession. Everything looked okay. He just never got the ball on target. And knowing him, he'll be disappointed with that effort. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Last time out, Charles, they opted to go for it on fourth down in their own territory. Didn't get it. But the defense held strong, and they hold on to this slim lead. And how about as the defense ran off the field? How about the greeting they got from their teammates on the sideline? They kept that narrow lead by their nice play. Now, let's pay it off for them, right? Punch it in on this drive, take that lead back up to two possessions. That would be a nice little thank you gift to them. How many times do we say in this game is speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways? In this case, you got a back who's quick, and shifty can make moves make people miss but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down that's some of the benefits of that speed not just outrunning people in the secondary and that led to a really nice game first down and they go with swift again and he gets forward up the middle but only for a couple it'll be second down that was a pretty good job defensively to hold him to a two-yard run but i've got to think this offensive line they're asking their quarterback for a different type of a run, one that they rely on, one they have confidence in, one they feel like they can block. Here's Hurts to throw. And this one complete to Smith. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Good work after the catch. Gets him 15 and a first down. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. On first and ten, it's Swift. And tough sledding. He'll get maybe a yard. Stop short of the 35. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. Ball on the 36 now. Here's a second and nine. Hey, Silver, Silver, Silver. Hurts sets up to throw it. That's to the speedster, Alameda Zacchaeus. 
And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 20-yard line. That one good for 16 as the drive continues. We've hit the two-minute mark in the second quarter, 14-7. They'll throw on first down with Hertz. Got him in. It's Brown. This will be a five-yard pickup as they move it from the 20 to the 15. And we've seen him have success earlier on with the ball in his hands because he is a get it in space and make a play kind of a receiver. But that time, they closed on him quickly and held him to a short gain. Second and five. Hurts. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by Elijah Morgan. And the Titans are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Charles, not only is that an interception, it's one when you were really knocking on the door for a touchdown inside the red zone. You're actually thinking points. No matter what, at worst, you're thinking kicking a field goal and getting three. We might look back on this in the second half and say, you remember when they didn't get points on that drive? This could cost them. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Second and nine now from the 21. They'll run it again with Henry. And trying to push forward, but he is going to be stuffed up in the backfield. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Once again, they'll keep it on the ground. And he'll be stopped here well short of the first down at the 24-yard line. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. Now on fourth down, here's Ryan Stonehouse to punt for Tennessee. He gets us away. It's a good one, drawing toward the sidelines. No returning this one. It sails out of bounds, and they'll spot it right at the 20. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And with eight seconds on the clock, really not a lot of time to try to put anything together. Hey. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it. 
And that'll fall incomplete. Partner, what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw it through contact and short of the sticks. Throw now on the final play. Looking here for Smith downfield. Now he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. This safety, Terrell Edmonds, picks it. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. A one touchdown ball game, 14-7. Our scores, we get back at it on EA Sports. And no run back here as the third quarter will commence with a touchback. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Levis throwing again on second down. That's caught. Left side, it's Burks. And from the 25, they work this to the 29. A gain of four. It's a gain of four. Brings up they are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. The slot man in motion right. Levis on third down. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Nolan Smith brings him down on the pass rush. If you want a lesson on how to defeat an offensive tackle, that was pretty textbook. Is that a clip and save? Is that, that's what's going to go around the league, and people are going to watch that and say, my goodness, that's how you do it? And I feel awful for the offensive tackle because we always talk about the athleticism of that guy who just beat him. Well, you have to be athletic to try and block that guy. Just in this case, the defense won. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going, so what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to, how did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. 
Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. 23 yards to pick up there. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. Steps away to his left. It's caught, Smith. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. On any given pass play, you never know exactly where your exit points are going to be. On this play, he was flushed to his left, still on the run, able to accurately throw the football for a nice first down. So again from the 39, this time from the other side of the field. Here's first and 10. Throwing his hurts. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back complete. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. Got that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Kenneth Gainwell. A 21-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles go up by two touchdowns. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give them a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally, the haymaker to put that drive away. Elliott now to add the extra point. It's good, and it is now 21 to 7. Makes the score Eagles 21, Titans 7. Jake Elliott to kick off for Philadelphia. Now, after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now Levis. 
He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. Levis. Open man, that's Henry. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. A handoff, running left, Henry. And not much running room, down to the 32. Fletcher Cox there for the tackle. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. As they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Now second and nine. Tenth carry now for Derrick Henry. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. There's no question that coming into this game, this defense was pretty vocal about his desire to take this running back out of his game. And all that pregame whooping has turned into results. On third down, Henry. And they will rally and stop him short of the first down. They get him to the ground at the 26. Give him nine on the carry, but it's not enough. And it'll be fourth down. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. They're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Desperation time now. Here's Levis. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. The Titans try it, but ultimately they fail on fourth down. And the Eagles defense able to hold. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Big stop on the turnover on downs to get the football back, and now it's just all about salting this one away. Yeah, just slowly bleed the clock away. Clock's definitely on your side. And, you know, when we talk about analytics in the game, what is this one, the advanced win metrics? Because if you take care of the football here, bleed the clock down, were they about 95% chance of oh, winning Oh, yeah, it? I'd say 95 or better. I, and I know you always say it, every coach does. It's just protecting the football at this point. And yeah, knowing that the defensive guys, they're coming after the ball more than they are the person. They want to knock it free. Play action. Here's Hurts. And this is caught. It's Brown. Fighting room at midfield. And finally brought down right at the midfield stripe. 28 yards the gain there on the catch and run. This is something you got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass it, and they got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down. If they want to take another shot and try and loosen things up, that'd be the time to do it.
From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Over the middle, complete. It's Smith. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down, stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions, they are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Hey, silver, silver, silver. They'll set up to throw. And that one drops down, incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. My first thought is surprise, because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Here's second and ten. Hey, easy, 63, 63, back with They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. That is caught. It's the tight end Goddard. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans 14. 23 yards the pick up there. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. On first and ten, it's Hurts. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Now a second and ten. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. DeAndre Swift, 14 yards. And the Eagles have put this one to bed here in the fourth quarter. You get in a second and long situation down here in the red zone. I'd say most defensive coaches would think pass. Let's bring some pressure. So this is kind of a tendency breaker here to hit him with something on the ground, and he'll take it all the way into the end zone. And, oh, he clanks it off the right upright, and it's no good. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. Well, it's been a struggle so far for this offense, Charles. It's not only that they haven't been able to put the points up, but really stringing yards together has been a real issue for them in this one. I'm so glad you brought up the yardage because I was thinking to myself, we've seen a lot of NFL games and we've seen our share of lopsided contests, but in almost all of them, both offenses have put up at least 200 yards in a game, but not in this one. This has been a display of offense that, frankly, I think the two of us have watched from behind our hands, trying to spread our fingers wide enough to actually see the result. And it 
it looks like this will be the last play before the two-minute warning. First and ten, here's Levis. Eagle pressure, too much this time. Down he goes. Brandon Graham in there to take him down on what will take us to the two-minute warning. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Levis looking to throw. Buying time to his left. And the pressure gets to him again. Nolan Smith. His second sack of the night. And you hate to say it with a rookie quarterback. He's done some good things, but overall, looked a little bit overwhelmed back there, hasn't he? He certainly has. But in his defense, he hasn't had a lot of time to throw the football. You like the way I said that? In his defense. In his defense. I got it. Yeah. See what I did there? Yeah. He needs better protection, that's for sure. Losing two yards that time, and now it's fourth down. Well, that was a third long run, and to me, that was just a wave the white flag kind of a situation. Obviously, they don't want to risk the chance of throwing it downfield and risking a turnover in this section of the field. No choice but to go. Here's fourth down now. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Under pressure and down he goes in the end zone, and that's his safety. Well, this defense has been smothering all game long. Why not give them two more points here in the closing minutes? Well, they've certainly earned it. They've gotten the better of this offensive line for four quarters, and this sack here will just be a little icing on the cake. And remember, following the safety, you give the football up as well, and they free kick it from the 20 now. Oh, my goodness. Now that is going to be out of bounds on the free kick, and that's a big mistake. The Eagles in good position to start out as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. That one looks like he'll throw here. That's caught inside the 20. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Here's Hurts to throw. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. Picked up by Amani Hooker. And the Titans are going to get the football here as he gets this up past the 20-yard line. Intercepted. The Titans take over first and 10 at their own 21-yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. They have a little bit of time left here, but this one not going to go their way. And this is where, in this situation for me, you just go ahead and run out the clock, shake hands, congratulations, and move on. Because next... Derrick Henry all alone. He's on his way. Touchdown, Titans. Derrick Henry with his second touchdown of the night. And the Titans have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. And yeah, that touchdown counts for their team, but I think it counts more for the fantasy guys, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's just something maybe positive to look at on film, but this one's over, let's be honest. Yeah, I, th I agree with you totally on that one. Ready up! 
Now the Titans leaving the offense out there. They'll go for two. Levis, he'll look to throw it. Complete at the one. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for a few years of two-point tries and see what the data tells us because a lot of teams want to throw the ball in this situation, this time unsuccessfully. I just wondered maybe running the ball might be the way to go. When it moved up from the three to the two, you would think maybe a few more attempts at running. I, I think stats over time may bear out that running the ball will at least be the equal of throwing it in that situation. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And three timeouts remaining here defensively, but really not much reason to use them at this point as this one is all but over. If they use the timeouts here, it's strictly for show. We got a play in the catch. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. He's going deep for Brown. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Uh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Sets up to throw it. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now as a quarterback third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you do in a big way. And what else do you have to look out for? More pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well. Okay, I'm not quite sure how to judge that one. Maybe he didn't have enough legs underneath him. Mechanics might have been off. Maybe some fatigue. That one came up short. Yeah, fourth quarter. Maybe you do start to watch. Is the arm there? The legs still there? This has been a tough game. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. And they're going to take it all the way down and just take the delay. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. They'll try it now with Swift. And the surge is going to be too much defensively. He's hit and taken down to the backfield. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout. It'll be their third and final timeout, so as they talk things over, we'll step aside. They'll try and run for it with Henry. And he'll take this for a short gain on what will prove to be the final play of this ball game. So fly, Eagles, fly. It's a victory for Philadelphia. And a little bit of a surprise, they lose the turnover battle, but wind up winning the ball game. And this is very unusual because you know all teams stress winning the turnover battle as a key indicator to winning ball games. So when you get something that goes against the grain like the one we saw here, it's quite the oddity. Now, let's face it, they'll be very happy that they pulled this off, but they do know that in the future, they've got